What's up, Libra Cross Watchers? It's West Coast Tarot with your September What Is My Libra Up To? This is for the Cross Watchers of Libra. So this means you may not be a Libra, but you watch videos for Libra because the person that you are connecting with romantically, energetically with is a Libra, okay? Libra, this is not intended for you per se. However, it may resonate if you are a Libra and watch cross watch for someone else um, or it could just be a bonus for you so just apply it where it fits if it's not for you it's definitely not for you so Spirit, tell me about Libras please what's going on with Libras for the month of September if you guys do like this type of video please like and subscribe to catch future West Coast tarot videos and if you want to know about any of the tarot decks that I use or want to purchase a personal reading with me all that information can be found down below so Spirit, tell me about Libra. What's going on with Libra for the month of September in regards to love, life, and their situation? Tell me about Libras, please. Okay, we have King of Spears. Two of Cups. Queen of Spears. Ooh, we have a couple. Page of Cups in reverse. The Emperor in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse. Very, very interesting. Okay. Page of Swords in reverse. Ace of Spears. And the Fool. Bottom of the deck, we have King of Swords. So this is air energy like yourself, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is really just using your head over your heart, you know, being guarded, really longing for honest communication, maybe even wanting to give honest communication, but analyzing the situation and making sure that you take the best approach. The King of Swords is very disciplined and this is someone who does not rush in without thinking. So this is really just using your head, making the best decisions because they are well thought out, okay? I see like in the recent past, there definitely was a divine pair here. Okay, very a divine pair. Uh, very a divine pair. This is a very beautiful connection. This is a connection of unity, of partnership, um, a real, you know, deep connection. You know, label it how you want. Some people would say a soul connection, but this is a pair. You know, the king and the queen of wands, they're very good together. You know, they're, they both are very independent on their own, but together they're unstoppable, okay? I feel like this is also fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I definitely feel like in the recent past, there's this connection of, have, of having the possibility to have it all, having a connection where you feel that there's nothing else stronger, that everything just goes perfectly together, um, that you could be the perfect person, you know, for them or them for you is what I'm seeing here. So I definitely see that there was a connection in the recent past that's definitely lingering on Libra's mind. Okay. Spirit, who is this king of, who is this king of spirits? Please, why is this here? The king of spirits is someone who is very responsible. This is a leader. This is someone who overcomes challenges and always does the right thing. Um, always does the right thing, okay? I definitely feel with a three of swords here, there's this energy of disappointment, okay? Um, energy of loss and energy of grief. And he even looks really sad, too. He definitely looks disappointed here. He looks like he has the weight of the world on his shoulder. You know, he's in deep thought, deep retrospect. And, you know, with a three of swords... Um, Something could have happened to this connection because of another interference. Three of Swords could could mean third party, which is not always romantically um, inspired. A third party can be a meddling parent. A third party can be meddling friends, meddling energies, um, interfering energies, okay? It can also mean, yes, another person, you know, may have hurt you or stepped out on you as well. But the Five of Pentacles here, I see there is an energy that 
Libras have been wanting to fix, and I do say have been because I say this is the past. So I think about, I see them thinking upon this connection and wanting to bring it back to life and feeling the grief and feeling the pain and feeling the loss from this situation. Why is the Two of Cups here, please? Yeah, Judgment in Reverse. Um, karmic Lessons. I feel like Libra may have been facing some karmic lessons. There could have been some gossip or false accusations in this connection as well with the Judgment in Reverse. Someone also may have made a bad choice or made a bad decision. Um... I also feel like in this connection they want to recover it, but they feel they're doubting themselves. They're doubting if they can get it back to where they want it to be. Why is a judgment here, please? Ooh. Yeah, see, I feel like, you know, they might still be holding on to a situation, I feel, but I feel like there definitely was something that ended. It could have ended due to false accusations, okay, or a poor decision, like I said, but I definitely feel like something did end because something changed. Something happened. Something interfered. It was once a strong connection. Why is the Queen of Spears here, please? Yeah, so they became independent and they stepped into power and they released themselves because it was too stressful. So I definitely feel like they decided to go their own way. They decided to be independent. Um, they had the courage to go in a different direction. Ten of Wands, please. Yeah, they got their priorities. They made a choice. They balanced out choices. And I feel like um, they decided to focus on their priorities more so. And I feel like because they made this decision to release it, they're trying to get used to this change. Okay. Currently, with the Page of Cups in reverse, this is definitely an energy of emotional immaturity or feeling insecure or feeling disappointed. So I feel like I feel like right now Libras may not be feeling very emotionally fulfilled at this moment in time. It's this water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. What's up, Aries? What's up, Pisces? Um, I definitely feel that right now they may have gone cold in a person. So I feel like a lot of you may not be speaking to this Libra if you um, are watching for them. Okay, a lot of you... Libra, you may not be talking to someone if you're watching your own video, but I definitely feel like there's a detached, cold energy here, okay? And I feel like someone's being very secretive, so I definitely feel like Libra is being very secretive right now. Um, they could be repressing their feelings. There could be some secrets that have not come out. Um, there could be some strategies here, too. Tell me about Libra, please. Why is the Page of Cups here? Yeah, see, I feel like right now they're working on their own life. I feel like they're trying to get it under control. Um, they're trying to focus on things that need more structure in their life. They're trying to get stability back in their life. If they are at work or at the workplace, they could be trying to rise up into power or trying to get some sort of promotion or trying to focus on business as well. But I see that right now, Libra sees that their current options or how they currently feel in love, things have been disappointed. So I feel like right now they're focusing on their responsibilities. Why is the emperor here, please? What's up, Aries? I have strong Aries. Aries, Aries, fire, fire. And Queen of Wands is fire, but she's directly Aries. So strong Aries presence with the hangman here. This can be Pisces. Um, but I feel like right now Libras are just trying to, they're not really taking action. I feel like they want to do the right thing in life. I feel like they're trying to gain a new perspective. They know that they still might be tied to a situation that they might need to release, but there needs to be some sort of change. There needs to be some sort of sacrifice. Okay. Why is the Emperor here, please? Yeah. With the Eight of Wands, some of them could be currently thinking about moving. Um, they may not have enough money to move, though, or trying to improve their situation to move. I also feel like there's a sense of longing for communication. Okay. 
Tell me about the Eight of Wands here, please. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like there's a situation here with the higher font. What's up, Taurus? I definitely feel that they're trying to do things their way. Okay, so if you guys have had communication with Libra, it could have been very harsh. Um, with the higher font, this is a different type of approach, a different type of style. You know, kind of rebellious energy. So it could be definitely rebellious. So some of you, there could be harsh communication or very coldness here. They could have moved on um, very stubbornly, too. Why is the High Priestess? Too many, way too many. Tell me about the High Priestess, please. Yeah, with the Justice in Reverse, I definitely feel, um, well, it's sideways, but I definitely feel that they feel that there's something very unfair lingering in their life at this moment in time, okay? They feel that there's some sort of dishonesty. You know, this could be reverse cross watchers, keep in mind, but I feel like there's an energy of just wanting the truth, okay? Definitely wanting the truth, but holding back with the high priestess here, I just feel that they're repressing themselves. They could be thinking of a secret agenda or planning something. Tell you the justice, please. Yeah, they're definitely contemplating something. What's up, Virgo? Um, they're contemplating something. They're planning something. I feel like they're searching for the truth. I also feel like some of these Libras could be like looking online or trying to find the truth out online via social media or checking out people's profiles. They're searching for the truth. They're trying to find answers to a situation. You know, and some of them could have felt, if some Libras could have felt that someone cut them off very unfairly as well. But I see it all stems from this strong connection up here. You know, this strong connection that someone's still heartbroken over and wants to improve it. And the other person felt it was just too stressful and wanted to release it. Okay, and I feel like, you know, poor, poor choices, karmic situations, or false accusations could have came in between. And I do see that there was a good connection here, but it had a lot of interference here. But I do see that they're searching for truth with the Page of Swords. This is a very um, curious energy, okay? I still feel like you guys might be taking up mental energy for this Libra. They could be compartmentalizing you. Um, but I feel like with the Page of Swords in reverse, there was some de deception or manipulation or gossip that could have interfered. Okay. With the Ace of Spears, I do see that Libra is wanting to create something. They do want to build something. They have a desire. They have passion. They have willpower. Okay. But they don't know if they're going to be received very well, too. With the Fool here... This is someone being very cautious. This is a fool, but yet he's also very smart because he's perfectly aware of what's around him. So I feel like Libra just wants, they want to make the best decision based upon the truth. Okay, and I feel like that's what they want to do. They want to, they still have passion there. This is a really strong connection. Okay, very strong connection. And I feel like it's too good to let go. I just feel that there's so much interference here. And I feel like it's really weighing on this Libra at this moment in time. And they want to take a leap of faith, but they're very cautious. So I feel like they're not being very foolish. Is what I see here. Why is the Page of Swords here, please? Yeah, see? Ace of Spears again. They do want a new beginning. They're, they want... They want to start something. <laughs> the, fool in 
but they don't want to do it wrong. This is someone who doesn't want to be naive. This is someone who really feels a strong connection, but they don't, they're not stupid. You know, they, this is someone who doesn't want to be taken advantage of is what I see here. They're trying to protect their heart. They miss this connection. They do. Why is Ace of Spears here, please? You know, some of them could be really worried about money right now, so they could be looking at new business ventures. Um, I do see here that, you know, money might not be its best. There could be some lack of stability. There could be lack of resources, um, instability at home. And I feel like they're trying to come up with ideas to change that. They're inspired. I feel like there is some sort of diversion here. And I feel like they do feel confused at this moment in time. Um, there's a lot of confusion in their head. And with the Three of Wands in reverse, I feel like there's just obstacles that they feel have gotten in the way that have delayed this connection and I feel like they're feeling very frustrated okay yeah but I feel like some I feel like things will slowly start to be revealed and I feel like um, the fears the misunderstandings the confusion that have been lingering and haunting this connection I feel like they will eventually start to be revealed okay tell me about the moon Yeah, see, there's someone who they have detached themselves from or who detached themselves from them with the King of Wands. Again, more fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like they want they want to settle the differences. They want to fix this. They don't want conflict, okay? But they're being very cautious about this and they're being very secretive with their approach to the situation is what I'm seeing here. Spirit, tell me about Libra, please, in regards to the situation. What's going on with Libra? In regards to love, life, or the situation. Tell me about Libra, please. Ooh, Gemini. It says carelessness. You cannot afford to be careless or you will suffer the consequences. Pay attention to money and taxes. Be careful as to what you say. It could possibly backfire. I also see like this is kind of like being careless and not being observing of what is around you. So you guys might, I feel like in regards to this connection, someone may have been jealous of what you had and maybe try to steal it. There could definitely have been some interference here. Um, you know, you guys could have had competition or something that really intervened here. Um, there could have been some stalking involved. Someone who may have been watching you or this person, um, is what I see here. So there's definitely some carelessness in regards to this situation. But I feel like you guys are now becoming aware. Okay. And it says, you are not completely aware of a situation in your life. Do not underestimate the danger. By being aware of the situation, it will help you to avoid danger. This will give you more cho choices. This card represents a person. Okay. So let's look at this card really quick because there's a lot of imagery in here that it, it just you have it speaks volumes. I love this simple art. It says it represents a person. This person is a snake. Okay, and you guys are unaware. You guys were unaware, but I feel like now you guys are aware. Okay, and you guys might be feeling guilty about, you know, trusting someone or, you know, I do feel like there was some sneaky, sneaky energy here with this judgment in reverse. There could definitely have been some interference. It was like a, a perfect connection that, in a sense, was interfered upon. 
And I feel like there's guilt here. You seem to be harboring guilt from all the past, such as divorce, children, or actions. Seek solution and move on. Learn how to overcome guilt and to forgive yourself. Prayer heals. Okay, so don't hold in the don't hold in the guilt. Just know to give it up to the divine. You know whatever source you believe in. Um, give it up to God. Whatever. Like I said, you guys just um, don't hold on to the guilt. So for those of you who have not spoken to your Libra, what would they like to tell you from their higher self? What message does Libra have for their cross watcher? What message does Libra have for their cross watcher from the highest self? Ooh. It says, even though I don't show it, I am sorry for how things went between us. Okay. And I definitely see that here. I feel like they're hiding their emotions with the moon here. Okay, they're hiding their emotions. They're hiding the fact that they do want to take a leap of faith. They want to solve this. But I feel like they're just being very cautious. I feel like they're, they could have hurt someone or someone could have hurt them. I'm just doing what I have to do right now. Okay. They're just trying to survive, trying to get by day by day. And it says, I'm working towards a better future. And I definitely see like that's what they're doing. Okay. Because this is, this is a divine connection I'm sent, I'm picking up on right now. And I feel like, um, just a lot of, foul play here a divine connection torn apart so before I send you guys off I'm going to go ahead and raise your vibration up with a message from the rebel deck because my readings can get deep sometimes so who knows what it will say maybe it will say fuck off or something but <laughs> just so I send you off with a better vibration what message do you have for the cross watcher of Libra please It says, take a shot. Don't take 12. Take one. Okay, maybe two. Move on. <laughs> so go have a shot. Have a shot of tequila. Have a shot of whiskey. And rebel. Because, fuck it. So just rebel. Just to do it. Just to have fun. Especially if you're a fire sign. Because I see we have fire in the house. So light it up, okay? All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave it here. If you like this type of video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Personal readings, all that information can be found down below. I will catch you guys on your next videos. Love and light to you. Take care.